but I, just like any great politician, am going to power through it and show you that I'm strong and capable. So, today, a true injustice was done. Sorry, uh, a true- I had a sound on my phone there. A true injustice was done. I got on duty today, and I- I was immediately called to a meeting, filled to the brim with my fellow officers, prosecutors, judges, medical staff, and unfortunately the FIB. You might have seen the latest announcement to do with the FIB, giving them more power. I know a lot of us are probably happy that the FIB is getting more power. I know I was, but immediately, and I do mean immediately, after the announcement today about how the FIB has more leeway and has more power, what is the first thing they do? What they do? They, they violated my rights, <laughs> placed in handcuffs, okay. my sling, my, my hairline fractured arm thrown behind my back, I wasn't oh read God. my Cassidy rights. Oh I was told God. I was under arrest. Wait, now you now know I'm how I'm no feels. stranger to arrests. Okay. Officer of the law, after all. Well, I just got suspended, <sighs> but but alas, I am an officer of the law. My my knowledge of arrests don't just go away once I'm suspended. And I asked the FIB, do I have an arrest warrant? You know what their answer was, people of San Andreas? No! They didn't have one! Yes. Do you know what they told me when I was being brought to a black site? They don't need you one. They money. They didn't have any. Said, this place doesn't exist. They also told me, don't worry, Bloom. You're just detained for questioning. Oh. What the? I don't expect, and this is admitted as an insult, it's a proper term, I don't expect the laymen and laywomen of San Andreas to know what a detainment is versus an arrest. But you can't be moved under a detainment because that's called kidnapping. Freedom. Oh, Fourth I'm amendment. sorry. I, 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 listen, I know you're human, but a lot of people here finding it really hard to have sympathy for you. I'm sorry. I'm not asking for sympathy for me. I'm asking empathy, for sorry, sympathy empathy. for you and everyone here's rights. That's what was violated today. First, they start with an officer who is supposed to be held to a higher standard and who can objectively get away uh, with more than a civilian. As soon as they just thwart my rights, what are they going to do to you people? <laughs> next. So Who's they next? took you on a vacation? Took me to a black site at the FIB, told me this place doesn't exist, said I wasn't under arrest, then asked how I plead to a charge. I said, been trial. They said, no, you go. And then they just let me go. The so charge is not nice. up anymore. How, hey, I want all of you to look to your left and right. Right now, look at the civilians around you. If they just go missing one day, it's the FIB did it. It's gonna lay it out as clear as day a chance you're here. that your family or your friends or your cool ones all the people you really care about gonna go missing one day and the FIB they don't need to document it they can just do that because that's the power the Attorney General and the Chancellor have bestowed upon them today released you though I didn't vote for no that. Chancellor they released me because I know my rights do you all know your rights like the back of your hand? I have to oh, know Beyonce them. Beyonce went to jail. All, all no. over, no, to... uh, no evidence. No evidence linking him to any crime and yep. he was still sent to Bolingbrook. Well, I can barely hear you, man, but I'm going to ask you all, what does the F in FIB stand for? Boys. Federal? Boy. No, it's not fuckboy. I don't it know. It stands for federal. <laughs> that means okay, give me like 10 more the U.S. government wants me gone. And I have something God. to say about that. 
I'm not leaving. He's not leaving. I'm not Hi. fucking leaving. Are we part of the Joe United Blair. States? Oh, shit. All of, yes, yes. We, we're a territory. territory. We are a territory, yes. Flying I island. want you, the people of San Andreas, to know if they're going to violate my rights, which I am not asking sympathy for, your rights are already out the fucking door. I'm going to shoot them. We did this in front of countless state officers, park rangers, you the name man. them. All of them. The mayor, all of them. If they're going to do that with countless people who know the law better than they do, what's to say they're not going to go into your homes at night, take your children, <gasps> take your family? FIB are boogeymans. That's what the B stands for in FIB, and I'm not talking Kendrick Lamar. <gasps> Damn! Oh I think, they, God, I think, I think no, there's a reason. Here. I think there's a reason Drake's mansion hasn't been raided, and I think the FIB sweeping it under the rug. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh yeah, just and like they're sweeping under the rug about me <laughs> having my uh, my rights violated, coercing the DA Officer to keep the charges, fingers. even though it doesn't make sense. Oh damn! Made sure that all the flat roofs are uh, all covered. The roofs covered. Don't worry. Oh, if I may yeah, ask, what is your crime? They are accusing me of assaulting a lawyer with a deadly. Eyes. You did that. Though. Yeah, you you did that. I, I saw you do that, Bloom. You, you did that. Did I willfully intend harm on someone? Yes. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Probably. Yeah, you shot them. They proved God, my intent. hearing a lot of bitching. Jeez. I'm answering a question, Tammy. How about you keep say. smoking your cigarette? When you shoot it, it's intent. <laughs> He's still a jerk. What the hell? Is what the, the, the fucking judges say. If you're shooting, you intend to do it. So guys, I want you to picture anyone else up here and ask, do I trust the FIB? No. But you're going back there because the I mayor and FIB I want to hear it. I want to hear from the crowd. Who here trusts the FIB? Not me. Leave oh, them no, 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 <laughs> what? The mayor. My I rights are violated, and I'm you. not gonna sit here and I'm not gonna sit here or stand for it. Oh, that when they violate your rights, you join me in a, ca a, a, a class action lawsuit, bring down the FIB. Why is the state funding a federal entity anyway? I just had to talk to the mayor about that okay, the other me, night. Why? You want to answer me? Where's <laughs> all your no tax sense. money going? Uh, the FIB. Oh, that's money that could go to local law enforcement. Huh? That's that? money that could go back to you. Better infrastructure. How many potholes have you hit? Honey, the case is off. So many. Oh God, they just posted a case. They posted the case on me, folks. It doesn't even say they work posted in the progress. Case. So technically, it's actually a bad case because it needs to have work in progress in the title when you haven't filed oh, everything. So they've already violated God. the docket. Oh, oh, as as of right yeah. now. Folks, as of right now, I am no longer a police officer. I have to sign off duty. I've been suspended for Woo! 48 hours minimum. You hear that? Woo! That's great. Oh, that's just yes! karma. <laughs> like I said, like I said, I have to do it. Yeah, I don't We can live our lives again, not worrying yeah. about Blue watching us from the top of a building. That's so good and fired Bloom. So Let's go. Everyone. Oh, Set their fault. feelings aside about me. I'm not here to play a victim. Yeah. I'm here to bring to light the fact that rights are being violated Kelly's at the highest victim. end. We're listening. Go ahead. I'm nobody's talking over you. Continue. I'm interested. You are objectively doing that. However, I ask oh, no. you <laughs> to put no. Honey Beaumont up here in my place. I ask you to put Justice Joy. I ask you to put the mayor. I ask you to replace oh, no. me with anyone and then ask me if you're going to have your same opinion about the, that person's rights being violated. So I wish that you Depends were on if you to actually did the crime or not. Or to set aside your well, prejudice yeah. against me and think objectively. Are you okay with the FIB violating your rights? I know I'm not. Oh. I hope oh, you, the fault. people of San Andreas, Greco's fault. Greco. It's all Greco's Greco. fault. Go hit me with a car! I, I ask you all to have a safe night because the yeah, city is women. I'll be honest, the city, That's... nigh, yeah. the state has become a, an unsafer place because of this. Now I'm gonna go clock off duty 
and get in plain clothes at the Del Perro Police Department. Oh. Blue, let me pull out my world's smallest violin to play you the world's smallest song. It's about me, it's about your rights. Eh, who cares? Nothing stupid to care, Blue. Blue. Coming to the press conference, everyone. I hope that your rights aren't violated like mine were, but Wait. good luck. I would have questions, but I'm literally. They came for Bloom, and I did not speak out, for I did not like Bloom. Then they oh, yeah, came for me, and, and I had no one left to speak because they took Bloom. The exactly, exactly. Uh, uh, Officer Bloom, can I get like, your full name, please? Uh, my name's Lewis Bloom. Are you with the press? Uh, I am. Yes. My name is Lieutenant. Well, it was Lieutenant of the LSPD, Lewis Bloom. That's what my title was. I'm pretty, I'm pretty oh. sure Tammy has less IQ points than she can do um, push up. If I, I, I have my number on the directory. Um, I have a meeting this week with uh, the FIB. Um, I am supposed to be interviewing uh, Strong Rock. Uh, if you would like to uh, talk with me about questions I may should be asking, <laughs> that'd be very uh, insightful. Absolutely. I, I wouldn't mind setting aside some time and talking to you. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, just whenever you have a, t uh, have a chance. You guys are good to stand down. Your name so I can get your number uh, from the directory? Yes, it is Hans H A U N S. What did you say? U N S? Yeah. You're, you're currently not in the directory, Mr. Hans. Am I not? Uh, okay, let me put it real quick. Just give you my number and you can text Thanks. me. Okay, um, one moment. Okay, I'm ready. Four two four nine zero three eight six four nine. Eight six four nine. Just to verify, uh, four two four nine zero three eight six four nine. Correct. All right, so I will send you a text over, and then uh, just let me know whenever you're available. I'm gonna go get off duty because I'm getting suspended. First time, huh? Alright, sir. Oh. So sorry. I really am. Alright, they'll extend the Sloan Doctor into you. I'm not getting charged. I don't think they can prove it. I'm gonna win this shit. How <laughs> can they prove intent? To seven improve? shots in the ground. Is assault with a deadly? Uh, is that intent? Does that require intent? This is assault, uh, assault which requires assault, intent. Assault uh, requires willfulness. Alright. Yeah, and also, also, I don't think FIB can push charges, but they um, are. It's Greco pushing the charges. There's so. no intent here, Meredith. Uh, it says no person shall I'm commit assault shot, on the right? person of Read another. Read what the other definition of assault is. Right, so Read what the definition of assault and battery is. Yeah. Yeah. Erm, actually, okay. Erm, actually. Okay, so I need to go write that, that up and get that on my website and get that, uh, get that posted, like, post haste. Day, uh, or Saturday, I get paid um, for every uh, every repair that I did. I get 50%. Now that I'm a full employee, actually, I'm gonna ask them how that works. Hello. Oh, one moment, please. Yeah, no problem. I'll just get started. Okay. Hello, this is Hans. Hey, Hans. This is Lewis Bloom. I'm Hi. currently available for that uh that interview. Okay. Uh, did you see the uh, the report that, that I posted um on the directory? My wife's talking to me about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Hopefully that came out well for you. I I just wanted to make sure. I, I haven't looked into it yet. I I was gonna. I mean, I'm all for press and, you know, freedom of press and all that, so I just wanted to give yeah. you the time of day that you you deserve. Yeah, yep. Sounds good. Yeah, um, where would you like me to meet you? Uh, would you uh, like to just send me a, your location and then I can head that way? Oh, I'm on the side of the road. This is probably not the best place. How about we meet... Ooh, you know where Legion Square is? Uh, it is the place where um, the, the roundabout is, right? 
Oh uh, yeah, exactly. You want to meet in that little nice I area with the bar Can I get and whatnot. Your state ID. Sure. Uh, one three eight eight one. Yeah, uh, hey, that I... that sounds good. I'm sorry, I was, I'm right. getting gas. Oh, you're fun. <laughs> I'll, uh, I was just doing the same. I'll see you there shortly. All right, Hans. All right, sounds good. Thank you. Alrighty, take care. Cheers. Ah, oh, fuck. I I will need it one more time for uh, just the state tax. Okay, no problem. One three eight eight one. Perfect. Thank you so much. You're the guy who uh, writes articles, aren't you? I am. Yeah, I'm about to go uh, do an interview with uh, Louis Bloom. They uh, were just here, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they. Uh, you could say that they're uh, excited for this. You could say. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm. I'm interested. So. Actually, the reason that I, I asked them for the interview is because on Friday, I have a interview with um, with Louis Strongrock, who is of the FIV. So, oh, is his name not Strongcock? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably. <laughs> but yeah, um, <laughs> I do have an interview with him. So I, since uh, this just came out, I figured why not like poke the bear a little bit see uh see what he has to say about the fib yeah and then, why not i mean he's kind of wounded right now it's yeah. not like he can really do anything at the moment so i mean this yep, is yep. like the most vulnerable time to get those pokes in i yep. feel him the most right now yeah and then um what i'll end up doing is that i'm going to also try to get uh with other police officers because one of my main questions is how is the fib actually working with the um with not only the um um the local law enforcement but the actual community <laughs> to mm. make it better <laughs> yeah you're you're going for the layers you're you're, yeah. you're you're layering it on thick yeah yeah not like in that context way but like you're just putting on like a lot of layers to it i like that yeah yeah i can't fucking re wait to read oh my god oh. I cannot wait to read when that out oh, because I I'm actually surprised with 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 like your quality in, in your oh, articles. Thank you. Like usually someone might just like throw in like the one page, but but you you're serious, you're passionate. Oh yeah, well, so the thing is, is that originally whenever I came to the city, I only wanted to, to um uh, report on entertainment because that's my field, but we have mm. we have no news. <laughs> And so yeah. I've been taking it on myself to to report the news. I've put in a business proposal to try to um, get my uh, my brand uh, voices of um, San Andreas uh, to be a business, maybe open up Weasel News. Then I can get uh, more journalists, uh, which I've, I've already been in contact with several others who want to be journalists, uh, photographers and, and the like just so that we can actually get things going and then like court do uh, 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 the uh, the court cases right that just come mm -hmm. up uh, because um, uh, like someone has gone trials. to jail yes bench trials that's what they're called yeah when those come up they're they're available to anybody who has an MDW am, am I did I say that correct <laughs> Yep, you did you did <laughs> okay uh but for uh, for the most uh most of the populace they really don't know what's happening unless they know the individual that it's happening to yeah because like i had a bench trial at the forum ball sack and like that already alone i imagine you could have done so much with like news pitches or for your yeah. article titles and whatnot to draw people in and they would also not only you know it wouldn't do just like good for your business but people are going to be more informed and then they're yeah. going to come back knowing where they can get that information. They can exactly. come back and find out where other bench trials are at. They can come find out like where, you know, like w what kind of things are going on to inform yourself of what not to do. Like what some other bozos like myself do. <laughs> yeah. I, the, I, I wanted to, so, so the, the plan is to try to get a liaison over at the weasel news uh, location. And when you clock in, um, uh, oh, I want to be the, the, the lead editor, but I also want uh, you to be able to uh, clock in. And once you clock in as a journalist, uh, if a bench trial is put on the MDW, you are instantly notified that it's happening today. 
No, you need to oh, report that's it. Sick. And uh, not only report that it's happening, but then go to the trial and, and try to get the outcome as well. Yeah, oh, I like that. That's actually super cool. I don't have like much experience in the field, but I mean, I'm always looking for other jobs. So while you're yes. getting that off the ground, I mean, maybe I'll consider it. that's, you know, something that I have a passion for. Yeah. Maybe just, you know, see how it, because cause I am a writer, um, just of a different, I'm, I'm more of a creative writer yeah but, oh actually but, you know i um i uh, just a side note on the creative writing uh every day i make sure to write um a a at least what i would call a five minute poem <laughs> a five minute poem every day oh that's actually so wholesome and really smart actually it keeps the brain fresh and i think poems are beautiful actually yeah and it will prepare you anytime you're like put on the spot for like an open mic exactly yep i i heard ah. that there were some open, open mic mics that happened in the city but uh not uh, not recently so maybe that's something yeah, else that we can try to get going seed i think they should be going on this friday if they do a oh. farmer's friday okay yeah they they do this thing where it kind of feels a little religious at first, but then they open the mic. But some guy kind of gives like a little micro gra grape seed sermon. And then <laughs> okay. he's like, praise the Lord. Open <laughs> mic time or something like that. Okay. And then like people like read like the, the, the tale of, of, of the Lord of the Rings and, until somebody takes over <laughs> okay. or, or whatever poems they make or sing songs or tell jokes. Uh, yeah, I think there was like a meth head once that was just kind of uh, ranting. Bit. I, I, those, you, you know, those are actually the fun ones usually. <laughs> yeah, there, there, there was this one girl I knew. Her name was Methica, and and she was a real <laughs> treat. I hope you bump into her someday. I hope so she's too. She's homeless, so she's hard to catch. But, but yeah, but once you meet her, you'll know it's her immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, totally not because of like the meth broken teeth or anything at all. But no, no. You'll pick up on the methica vibe. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, I need to go meet um, former maybe Lieutenant Lewis. <laughs> oh, maybe. Yeah, I know that he is suspended currently. So. Um, okay. But I don't know if that's going to end up being a permanent thing, uh, especially since he sent out a uh, a government announcement. <laughs> I, I kind of think that that would probably be frowned upon by his uh, superiors <laughs> that he he called yeah. an announcement um, for for all of that, and I'm sure the FIB oh. is not happy either. Oh, one thousand percent. Oh, definitely not. <laughs> God, so many, so many cops coming through here today. I yes, I I've noticed that. <laughs> yeah, well, we're a hot spot for him, but but I won't keep you too long. I know you're a very but, busy man, but, but I yes. hope I see you around and if. Uh, and if I feel like it's something I have an interest for, I'll definitely hit you up to be, like, I don't know, maybe some kind of, like, a side writer or even maybe a journalist if I want to get on the ground. Sounds good, because, uh, to be honest, um, I am already exhausted. I have, uh, this last week, <laughs> uh, so last Friday, um, until Sunday around 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, I was up the whole time. I did not sleep. I went to every event. Oh, fuck. Uh, but that was oh, mostly fuck. because I'm trying, uh, again, originally it was because I was wanting to become a reporter on the arts, um, the arts specifically, and it turned into what it is now. <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. Yeah, it's so fucking draining trying to catch everything. Eventually, oh, yeah. you, I'm sure you'll start to, 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 to find which ones are more juicy than others and oh, then yeah. come back to the other ones after a bit to kind of mix things up or whatever but yeah i'm kind of going through that myself being a, a recent flyover yeah yeah i uh yeah, i even I've started in here like five weeks oh nice mm -hmm. yeah and I... so much shit has happened oh my <laughs> I god i bet i've been here uh one week and i'm already <laughs> i'm already getting exhausted but i'm actually uh i'm Every interaction I've had has been uh, fantastic. I've had, I haven't had any problems. And then my first job was working at Up and Adam, which is probably the best job you could start with if, if you're coming oh, into town agree. for the first time. Uh, that great is, crowd. <laughs> Plus and Bell's a, not bad either. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I've heard Cluckville, and then of course I know Yulin because she is a singer over at the Burger Shot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> but yeah, I gotta uh, I guess Lewis is probably gonna be waiting for me, so I gotta go. Yeah, yeah. This is where I usually work, so I'm sure I'll catch you around again. Oh, absolutely. I'll be coming out this way every day, probably. Hell yeah, hell yeah. It was awesome. It's, uh, is it Hans? It is Hans. Perfect. I actually pronounced it right, too. Hell yeah. <laughs> you take care and drive safe. All right, you as well. Thank you. No problem. Keep that ear to the ground. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Okay, let us, let us go. I was going to go hunting, and now I'm not going hunting anymore. <laughs> that was so cool. Uh, I, I was, I forgot that I was looking through my eyes the whole time there. And um, so it's right here. That's where I'm going. Am I going across here? I guess I am. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was a pretty cool interaction. I like her her character as well. That was so cool. Um, I like that she has the, the red around her eyes. Like she's been up, uh, like she's an insomniac like I am. <laughs> um, maybe, maybe it's more than insomnia. I don't know. I'm not going to presume. But a uh, really cool individual. Uh, glad I was able to RP with them. And I, I cannot wait to interact with them again. <laughs> place or is there uh, or is it a different place oh, no this is the place <sighs> oh i think this is him walking someone's walking out hello uh, hello this hey, is hans one moment let me go ahead and take my hat because <laughs> we're inside now well very respectful a little bit This is on y'all. I'm gonna watch TikToks. Okay. <laughs> I just think it would be really nice to have a picture of me and my wife during this interview, you know? So that's. She's here for looks, but she's way more than that, just that. She's my partner in crime. Wait, no. My partner in law. Ooh, I am your ride or die. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. Uh, give me one moment. There we go. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. I'm just gonna close. There we go. Alright, sounds good. I got it. Awesome, awesome. Alright, All right, Mr. Hans, right, what can I do for you today? Alright, what can well, I do you for? So, I have an end of you coming up, um, and because of everything that has happened today with the FIB, um, also, you mentioned I, I, I'm going to be um, I'm going to be dumb here because of the fact that I've only been within the city for a few weeks or, or a week or so now, maybe a week and a half. Um, you mentioned, I believe, something about a chancellor, which I have uh, not heard of as of yet. Uh, was this chancellor at your um, at the original meeting and your uh, your arrest? No, the Chancellor, uh, the thing is, there's nothing in the Constitution about a Chancellor. We actually don't even know where this guy came from. However, he apparently holds a, uh, he apparently holds that title from election or appointment, I don't know. And he was at a meeting earlier today that I was not privy to, where he was discussing, uh, the FIB and what they do. And then the meeting I was there for later today, when I got arrested unlawfully, well, let's call it what it was, where I was kidnapped. That is where we were discussing some things to do with the FIB. And, and was he at the uh, other police at the black site that they had taken you to? I have never seen the chancellor. Okay. Only heard okay. about him. Okay. I, I had actually heard that uh, that the chancellor was in town because of the fact that um, earlier I was trying to get a hold of the mayor for an interview as well. And uh, I was told to probably wait to contact the mayor um, as the chancellor was in town. The, uh, the chancellor, there's a very real chance that he was on the other or he or she was on the other side of that glass. Yeah. 
So I have an, uh, an interview. Let me go ahead and pull up my interview questions that I plan on doing with uh, one of the members of the FIB, Fierce Strongrock. Oh yeah, that's the one who kidnapped me. Ah, okay, that makes sense. Um, so the the thing I have, uh, or what I'm wanting to to get from you is, uh, there are a few questions that I have specifically about um, how the FIB has actually been working with um, with the uh, um, uh, with the different departments in actually helping the departments and helping the community. Has there been <laughs> any help for the community or departments? Well, thank you, Brittany. That's a great question. Thank you, Hinto. <laughs> if there was any a helping hand Welcome. from the FIB as a recent, I guess. I, I'm ignorant to it because the only time I see the FIB is when they're acting as police officers without SOPs. No, no oversight just blatant overstepping with no checks or balances no checks. this one fib galaga she just goes around with a silenced pistol shooting people and then pawning it off to police she oh, gets on yeah. our radio and begs for us to help her whenever we and, it's and. the federal it, it's it's strange it's federal stepping in on state matters it's very gray area, but who yeah. who watches the FIB? You know, who watches I, the Watchmen? Yeah, who does? They are. Um, I mean, they are our 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 intelligence uh, agency, uh, I, I guess. And that's where you're mistaken, Hans. <laughs> They're not ours. Uh, they yeah. claim us. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> that is true. They are very uh, aloof in everything that they do. Um, even even the. Um, the uh, bombings that were happening at the Red Garage. They said it's not them, but it kind of sounded like it was them in a way. You you understand? <laughs> mm -hmm. So, yeah, they, uh, they're they very interesting um, in the way that they conduct business. Uh, and I've seen a lot of weird things specifically today. Like I saw um, a black helicopter in certain areas of the, of the town. And I don't I, I would expect that that's FIB. <laughs> So I don't know what they're doing, and they don't like to tell people what they are doing. So it's kind of weird, um, as far as that is concerned. Um, yeah. So, if if um, if you were if you were the person that was going to be interviewing Fierce Strong Rock, what would a question that you would ask be? What authority do you, as a federal agent, have over state matters? Because that's a question I don't think anyone has asked, and if they have, we certainly don't have an answer. We just had a meeting with the Attorney General yesterday about him selling weed back to the citizens of San Andreas that the police had no idea about. The police director, aka the head of uh, the, the head of the Department of Public Safety, the only person who can sanction the sale of drugs, had no idea about this. He didn't approve it. I have proof of that because I've spoken to him. Nothing. This is Greco and the federal government, more specifically the FIB, pushing limits to just have complete control. Yeah, so uh, I did notice that Strong Rock was uh, at the uh, the Polito event last night, where they were uh, finally opening up the um, the legalization of uh, certain quantities of marijuana to the citizens. Um, and what you're saying is that uh, not only uh, w was that happening, but he was actually selling back the citizens the weed that they they had confiscated maybe is that what you are saying what i'm saying is greco was a young man when nixon was in office and i think that maybe nixon was an inspiration Um, what, 
what is what are your plans now what do you plan to do now that this is all uh all happened and what is the duration of your suspension uh it might so i'll answer each question accordingly my current suspension is at minimum 48 hours uh as of right now there is a docket post pushing charges or rather a single charge of assault with a deadly against me uh filed by someone without a bar license which is illegal is practicing law without a license and what i plan on doing was well i reached out to the doj and asked them if i could start taking courses for a bar license or anything because i have to support my family my wife my i mean my wife is self-sufficient yes she's a lieutenant of the lspd but we have bills to pay we have mouths to feed i understand and everyone knows there ain't nothing in this world for free no 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 there is not I can't slow down, so I'm just gonna. I, I believe we're looking at a civil suit, post criminal uh, allegations. Uh, first, I'll be found not guilty on assault with a deadly, uh, if the DOJ has half a brain cell, and then I will sue for lost wages, defamation, it, you you name it, everything reasonable. I'm not one of these money hungry freaks. It's, it's, I'll actually do the math. Eight hour workday, two days minimum that I've missed. By the way, I'll just I, ask I am for what I'm going owed. back to the VOD. <laughs> I just want to get on with my life because the DOJ has told me, I'm sorry, we can't give a bar license to someone with a criminal case against them. Which, guess what? I can't blame them because I wouldn't want a criminal lawyer. But at the same time, these allegations are, they're destroying my life. Yeah. Yeah. It's, and it seems so out of out of out of thin air um, that that all of this is happening. Their key witness in the assault with a deadly says she doesn't remember. Their secondary witness, I heard at my press conference saying that there was no way this was going to fly. So I really don't. I, I also heard that the victim doesn't want to push charges. Kelly Banana? I would highly suggest interviewing her. I haven't spoken to her because that would be very unprofessional of me. Uh, you know, as a police officer, I understand that a, uh, uh, a, a alleged perpetrator reaching out to the victim is very bad for multiple reasons. So I haven't reached out to her uh, just for the sake of the case and her mental health, you name it. But I'm, I'm hearing that she doesn't even... She doesn't even care. Like she doesn't even. She doesn't want to push charges. She doesn't remember anything happening. Yeah, I will. I will have to try to get um, get not only a hold of her, but also try to get her phone number so that I can contact her. Absolutely. She's a she's a defense attorney. It's going to be very easy for you to contact. Okay. Her. Okay. That that's um, <laughs> one second. Defense attorney. Okay, yeah, I will. I will absolutely keep track of uh, or keep looking at the uh, the, the current um, the current people who are on the Ellie Banana and Franklin Dupont, the two key witnesses, or their primary and their secondary witness rather, and uh, they are both defense attorneys. So if you see them, feel free to interview them. I haven't talked to. I I did briefly talk to Dupont, uh, but it was more of a just. He was accused of something he didn't do. He was found not guilty for. So he just asked me in, cross, in passing. He said, doesn't feel good, does it? And I said, no, it doesn't. It doesn't at all. Okay, it looks like uh, DuPont is actually around. So I may actually mm -hmm. contact them once I once we get done. Absolutely. Um, so the plan is... Um, I, I want to um, I want to release your uh, this interview. But I want to wait for the FIB interview. And um, that way I can try to contrast without, uh, I want them to not know it's coming. <laughs> the, um, that way I can, I can uh, bring, bring these, uh, these, um, these allegations up in, in the interview and they won't know it's coming. I don't, I want to make sure that, um, so once, once I'm done with their interview, I will post your interview first, and I'm probably not going to post their interview until Monday. 
Well, do you want another, uh... You want another heavy rights violation that just went down? Tied to sure. this? Absolutely. Well, the mayor put out a statement for that press conference that you're familiar about, yes? Uh, you mean the one that has been canceled uh, at least once? Yeah. Do you know why? I do not know. The mayor told me himself, the DA's office was very upset at him using his power as a mayor to support the First Amendment. Mr. Pennyworth is the DA, and he, I, I'm guessing, has coerced the mayor into just compliance, which is sick. That's sick. These people are forgetting how America was founded. This oppression, the, the failure of checks and balances is disgusting. To hear the mayor shaky voice tell me after my press conference, Bloom, the DA's throwing threats my way. I'm, I'm pretty worried. To hear that, to then see that it's downright been removed. And you know the last thing the mayor said to me, he said, if you don't see me again, you know what happened to me. Hmm. That is insane. That is very insane. The, the fact we're living with this fear of being nabbed up by the FIB and apparently the DA's office is in is in in cahoots. The DA was there. Uh, the DDA was there for my uh, for my unlawful kidnapping, and said that she's too close to me, so she can't drop charges. But she agrees with me that this is bogus. Yeah, I. This is crazy. I, you know, that's it's all in recording. That's why I've I've been wanting to get a hold of the mayor because of the fact that. For a lot of people, nobody knows what's happening with the mayor. Uh, we we see the mayor out and about. Uh, the mayor's at different events. Um, I've seen him at least at two. But as far as what's happening behind uh, the scenes, um, to to a lot of people, it looks like nothing is happening. But on the other hand, it, it, there is he is swamped uh, as far as what I have been told. So he is very busy, but. Uh, for for the people, they're not seeing it, and that's kind of why I want to bring light to, to what's going on with him, because I feel I feel uh, he's new, he really hasn't had a chance uh, to um, to prove himself, and then with that uh, with that meeting being canceled, um, people are people are wondering what's going on. So yeah, I I. As far as as far as the city goes, I want I want us to have, I want us to not feel like nothing is happening. I want us to feel like something is happening, but I understand that everything can't be told. Everything can't be told to everybody what is happening because a lot of it is is behind closed doors. But things are happening. It's just that we do, are we don't have that chance to see it at the moment. Yeah, and the fact that the mayor can't even work on doing uh, doing his job and, you know, connect with the people out of fear of being black-sided like I was, I mean, yeah. what kind of system do we want to have here? Because right now the system we have is a corrupt one. Yes. And Mr. Hans, I know that you just flew here recently. I, yeah. If you ask anyone, I'm the cop that arrests corrupt individuals. I've arrested, fired like a dozen cops at this point. To think that I would just, uh, let's see, the exact wording is willfully and maliciously discharge my firearm into the gut of a lawyer and then shoot seven rounds into the ground? is It's disgusting. I, I feel like I've poured all of my heart and soul into this city and given it at my all, and what I've gotten back is a lump of coal. They weren't even nice enough to pressure it down into a diamond. All right, I have everything uh, as far as I'm concerned. Is there anything else that you wanted to add? Just one thing. I guess I kind of touched it, but I'll, 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 I'll choose this. I hope that anyone reading this article knows that I will not stop fighting on behalf of my rights and that they should know oh, that if my rights are being violated, theirs are next. 
and to hold strong and to hold these corrupt government officials like to, Salvatore I'm Greco accountable. I'm always late. I grind my God bless San Andreas. San Andreas. All right, sir. That sounds uh, that sounds amazing, and um, I will, like I said, I will uh, probably have this out um, on Saturday, uh, out because of the fact that I have the meeting on Friday with uh, the FIB, mm -hmm. and then uh, I'll have the FIB uh, out on Monday, hopefully. Um, I look forward to it. I, I read your piece while I was waiting on you. It was well, actually, I kind of had a sexy audible read it to me, but uh, it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a great piece. Well, uh, you, you, uh, it's good to see good journalism. Yeah, I also uh, I made sure because uh, until well, I I would love I would love to actually have the voices of uh, the city um, uh, read the news, um, actually have um, newscasting. But until then, um, it seems like the only way to get news done in the city is um, is what I'm doing and that is uh, using a website uh, that I can post that everybody is able to see and I chose a website specifically because uh, if you if you don't have time to read you can at least hear because I have uh, I have it set up where you can actually listen uh, by pressing the little play button um, to the article uh, as well I, I am an advocate for the first amendment freedom of the press you name it you're not going to find someone more excited about uh, about you know people's stories being heard in this city than myself. So I'm I'm happy to have you in this city, Hans. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I um I, I have a business proposal in so that we can try to get Wizzle News uh, set up and um and get get everything going and get the app working so that we have up to date news being being listed there and people who. I've talked to, I, I have at least five people who are interested in being journalists and I would love to actually have them um, actually want to step forward, but at the moment they don't want to because um, it's, I, I'm doing this because I, it's a passion and mm -hmm. it doesn't bother me if I get paid or if I don't get paid for it. I, I would rather that something is being said than nothing being said. Those are the people we need in this city. People that are, seek the truth and are willing to get it no matter what. I agree. And honestly, I think you should say fuck the fuck the term weasel news. Maybe try something like H U H A U news. Well, I mean, I've I I went with voices of San Andreas because that's what I'm I'm wanting, mm -hmm. but um okay. I I if 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 weasel news is the way we have to go, then I, I will take what I can get, but, um, you can always go for a rebranding later. Yeah. Yeah. But mostly I, I hope at some point I can become, uh, the head editor and not have to be the only person who is out, um, reporting the news. It'd be nice to have, uh, some night crawlers around here. Absolutely. Well. <laughs> Right, Mr. Hans, is there anything else I can help you with? That or? is everything on my end, sir. All right. I appreciate you taking the time to come talk to me. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a very stressful time. I understand. I understand completely. The future's uncertain. I'm it, just happy. It is indeed. I'm just sir. happy I have people like my wife next to me. Uh, yes, indeed. To support me along the way. Well, sir, I hope um, everything um, everything gets better. I hope uh, uh, the court case and everything is um, is resolved without uh, without having to really. Um, I honestly, I'm going to. I, I want to talk to the the two individuals that you had mentioned and uh, see if there is a way that if the people who are if who if the people who are the case are about are not interested in pressing charges, then it should be thrown out as a case in the first place. There's, there, if, if they're wanting to back out, or not back out so much, but if they uh, initially didn't want to press charges, why is there a court case? I'll tell you why. Malice. 
Yeah. I am, the it, attorney general caught wind of me going to arrest him for selling drugs, and he wanted to get ahead of that. It's disgusting behavior. Yeah. But um, I am going to leave you to it. I am going to um, I'm going to compile all of my notes, and um, and we are going to uh, try to make sure that we we uh, get the correct news out into the uh, into uh, the ethos instead of. Nothing. All that fake news. Well, <laughs> Nothing or fake news, news, yes. Thank you for your time, Mr. Hans. Thank you. I hope you have a fantastic day. And Thank to you the you. same likewise. Cheers. <laughs> that was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. I'm going to have to pull the VOD because he... I... I... I <laughs> I was overwhelmed the whole freaking time. <laughs> um, but I had so much fun in that interview. <laughs> um, my notes are so scrambled because of the fact that um, uh, I, I haven't had a chance to really just sit down and, and look at everything that had happened. Uh, but I, I have two attorneys I now need to contact that are apparently witnesses and victims in, in the case that are happening. Um, oh, I need to remove this if I can remember how I remove it. <laughs> what did I? Oh, I, there we go. There we go. I have paid my fines uh, and everything. And uh, let's go ahead and head on out. I am going to Plato and I am going to find a rock to hide in. <laughs> Um, yeah, that was enjoyable. I had a lot of fun with that. Um, uh, Lewis, uh, uh, is a, uh, really, uh, a fun character to interact with and, um, the conspiracies, uh, I mean, it's, it's not conspiracies. I mean, he, it, apparently he's gone through, uh, everything he's gone through. So, um, not conspiracies, conspiracies, not conspiracies. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to deal with that.